In this class, we are going to learn how we can call a long running procedures with the help of integration, which will take time more than 4 5 minutes and even 1 hour in order to execute. Suppose while calling a package or a procedure in your database from integration, if you have observed such kind of error message wherein it says like the operation got timed out, then this class is for you. Here we are going to learn how we can overcome this package procedure issue which gets timed out because of lengthy execution time. So in order to know the solution, how we have to resolve this issue, we have to look at the solution provided by Oracle while configuring any database procedures in our integration canvas. Now I will open up this wizard for database configuration, click on next. So this is one of the sample procedures which we have used in order to demonstrate the use case so that we can get this kind of error. I will show you how I have done that. So usually we will be selecting directly a schema, package and the procedure. We won't go beyond this. Click on next. So here Oracle has provided a hint how we have to design a lengthy time consuming procedures while calling from integration. Click on this next steps. If you closely read these instructions, we have to make sure that our stored procedures gets completed within 4 minutes. So it shouldn't exceed these 4 minutes. If the execution takes more than 4 minutes, then we will obviously get this timed out message from our procedure. So what the solution uh, Oracle is recommending over here? That is we have to create a wrapper procedure. That is we need to create a procedure that is a wrapper procedure around our main procedure. So it will act like a fire and forget. We have to call that procedure and it has internally needs to schedule this main procedure and it has to act like a fire and forget. So that the thread shouldn't wait for long until the main procedure executes completely. Once the wrapper procedure calls the main procedure, it has to release the thread so that integration can execute ahead. So that the system doesn't have to wait indefinitely so that the system doesn't error out. Now let's look at how we have to design such kind of procedure first. Now let me head over to the PLSQL code walkthrough. Suppose if you have created a procedure within a package or a standalone procedure which executes over a long period of time like takes 5 to 6 minutes or more than that. And if you are calling this procedure from a user interface or any other platforms where the user doesn't wait for long, then in that case, it is not ideal to design your solution with the help of single procedure like this. I hope with the PLSQL code walkthrough, you might have got the exposure on how to design the PLSQL procedures that is a wrapper procedure and the main procedure when we are trying to make use of any long running or lengthy procedure scapes. So I have created couple of integration. One is the sync PLSQL integration. So this will error out while calling a main procedure which takes more than four minutes to execute. So like this, I have created one more integration. So here only difference over here is calling the procedure. Here I am trying to call the wrapper procedure. If you see configuration is same invoke a stored procedure. If you look at the schema admin, this will vary as per your project and the customer for whom you are building the solution. Next is the package. Here if you see the package is same what we had in our sync integration that is over here. I am here in the sync integration currently and the procedure is main prog. Let me switch to async. Here if you see the wrapper main procedure I have made use of. So this is the only difference. So this main wrapper procedure is the same procedure which, which we had gone through just now in the PLSQL code walkthrough class. Let me close this and let me test this integration. So when we test this async integration, we shouldn't get the error something like this. If you closely observe, this has run for 4 minutes and 9 seconds. So while configuring the correction, we had seen anything which takes more than 4 minutes, Oracle has documented that it will time out. It has run for 4 minutes, just it is passing two parameters that is attribute 1 and attribute 2 while calling the procedure. Now we have this async PLSQL integration, instead of main procedure, it is calling the async procedure that is the wrapper procedure over here which will internally schedule the execution of our main procedure. Now let me test this async PLSQL integration. Submit now, click on confirm, let me verify whether there are any records. 
Yeah, there is one record. So, this record got inserted from our PLSQL testing, which we had executed over here. Because the system will sleep for 300 seconds, then only it will insert. So, when we just queried earlier, it was not there. So, we are querying now that is after 300 seconds. So, it is available over here. So, this is one of the records available and the time you can make a note. Now, let me go to this testing window. Let me insert one record. Let me give 101 underscore 101 underscore 2 and click on submit. Now, let me go to tracking, go to integrations. There is over here. It is queued up. Let me just refresh. It is running. Yeah, it got completed within few milliseconds. What I have shown over here. That is, it got executed within 498 milliseconds. That is over here. Let me click on this and see if there are any errors. Now, if you see from the audit logs, it has called our async procedure over here. Now, if you click on the message, we can see the number of parameters it has passed. That is 101 underscore 1 and 101 underscore 2. And the main thing which we need to note over here is the time it has taken. It has taken less than a minute or less than half second. Now, if you just remember that sync integration, which it took more than 4 minutes, so that thread was waiting until the main procedure was executed. Now, here in this case, this integration will make a call to our wrapper procedure and it will release the thread and integration if you see it got completed successfully. Now that wrapper procedure will schedule this main procedure and it will pass the parameters which we have passed from integration that is 101 underscore 1 and 101 underscore 2 and it will insert the records in this table. If I query this table, I am not seeing these records because the system will sleep for 300 seconds then only that is the insert statement over here. Now I am going to pause this video for 300 seconds so that our main procedure job executes and inserts the records. So, I will resume the class after 300 seconds. It's been more than 300 seconds since I have paused this class. Let me just run this query again. If you see, we are having one record inserted over here. Let's compare the attributes what we had sent. It is 101 underscore 1 and 101 underscore 2. Like this, our integration has called this wrapper procedure. So, in turn, this wrapper procedure, after scheduling the job to execute the main procedure, it has released the thread so that this integration was able to complete within half a second. Now, this procedure took its own time, that is, it was sleeping for 300 seconds, then it has inserted the records into the database. Now, here, this wait I have deliberately added because I didn't had any specific case where I could demonstrate the long or lengthy execution in the procedure but in the project in the real life scenario you will obviously have those requirement wherein the steps will take indefinite time so like this we can run the long running or lengthy procedures with the help of integration that is by creating a wrapper procedure as the name suggests asynchronous procedure execution so you have to make sure even if you are having a synchronous response to be sent back to the integration you have to write this response to one of the databases so that the integration on completion can pull through the database for the records or we can even schedule our integration so that it will pick the records from the table at a predefined interval after reading it can delete the record so that the next batch can dump the data into the table this is how we can design a synchronous as well as asynchronous lengthy procedures with the help of plsql wrapper procedures and the integration